Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at a violent cowardly bully who broke his girlfriend's eye socket and cheekbone then later hurled paint. Damien Rich broke into an ex-partner's home at night and completely trashed the house when off his head on cocaine. Whilst on bail for that burglary, Mr. Rich started dating another woman who tried to kill herself three times after his vile abuse. Liverpool Crown Court heard Mr. Rich was in a relationship with woman A for eight months in 2019 and 2020, but this ended as a result of his violence towards her. Nick Cockerell, prosecuting, said a domestic violence protection order was imposed, but Mr. Rich was jailed eight weeks in July 2020 for breaching it. By September 2020, the couple had split up, but he was constantly trying to contact her and speak to her, despite her blocking all his known contact details. Woman A went to stay at her mum's on September 4th, 2020, but when she woke up at 7am, she had missed a call from the concerned neighbour. A large stone had been thrown through her front window, pictures and mirrors were smashed, there was glass everywhere, and in her bedroom, Mr. Rich left a note saying, you were just a slag. Her neighbour had seen Mr. Rich outside at around 2am, calling her a slag and a fat bitch, and he cut himself during the raid, leaving his blood at the scene. Mr. Rich was arrested and interviewed, but exercised his right to silence and was released on police bail on November 11th. Mr. Rich started seeing woman B in September, who said they both worked at a convenience store in Wallasey. But while staying at a hotel on December 23rd, they argued about Mr. Rich having a relationship with another woman. Mr. Cockrell said woman B went to walk out of the room, but Mr. Rich stood in her way. He said she pushed past him and he reacted by punching her once in the face. She described it as a proper punch, which resulted in her seeing stars and knocking her to the floor. When she woke up, she couldn't feel that side of her face. Woman B went to hospital, but told doctors she had hit her face on a metal chair, which had caused bruising and a bleed on her left eye. Mr. Cockrell said an x-ray revealed she had suffered depressed fractures in the left lower margin of the eye socket and left cheekbone arch. The victim returned to work, but CCTV cameras showed Mr. Rich enter the store on Boxing Day, go behind the till, grab her and push her into some boxes, when her eye injury was still clearly visible. Over the next few days, Mr. Rich sent her texts including, I am going to break your face for you. You think you're funny? Where did you go last night? I'm going to punch your head in you fat mess. And you fat mutt, I am going to ruin your slack. You was in the taxi you slut, I'll be in soon and I'm going to knock you out. On December 29th, he carried out another assault, again captured on CCTV. Mr. Cockrell said, in what was clearly a planned attack, he arrived in a taxi, strode into the shop with a tin of paint and proceeded to throw it over Woman B. This happened whilst a colleague looked on in horror. A friend of Woman B called police after seeing photos of her injuries, but Mr. Rich again remained silent when arrested and interviewed. Mr. Rich of Conway Street, Birkenhead, admitted burglary with intent to cause damage two weeks before a trial. He admitted assault causing actual bodily harm on the opening day of the trial, having previously admitted harassment, two counts of battery and two counts of criminal damage. Mr. Cockrell said woman A made a statement in which she tried to minimise the impact of the burglary and take blame for it. Woman B read out a statement in court explaining she had already suffered from anxiety, depression and emotionally unstable personality disorder. She told the court since Mr. Rich's abuse she had tried to kill herself three times and had her medication increased. Woman B said, I suffer vivid flashbacks. I feel like I'm being attacked by Damien Rich. I'm in a constant state of high alert. The woman said she was awaiting a diagnosis of PTSD but stopped getting treatment for her facial fractures. She added, I can't feel my teeth, I've lost feeling in my jaw and I just can't face going back and explaining it again. Mr. Rich has 20 previous convictions for 28 offences including wounding, attempted robbery and possessing an offensive weapon and assaulting emergency workers. Anna Buch, defending, said the hotel attack was a gross overreaction by Mr. Rich to being pushed by woman B. She said he suffered from depression and ADHD from a young age, witnessed domestic violence. Miss Duke said it's not unusual for young men who have seen domestic violence from a young age to therefore become the perpetrator themselves. She said Mr. Rich, who had been in custody for nine and a half months, described his own actions as disgusting and disgraceful. 
Judge Andrew Menory, QC, told Mr. Rich, the circumstances of this offending seem to indicate that you are violent, a cowardly bully who has an appalling attitude currently towards others, especially women with whom you are having a relationship. He added, all of these offences are seriously aggravated because they arise out of and amount to domestic abuse. The judge said, Mr. Rich told a probation officer the burglary at woman A's home happened because at the time you were off your head on cocaine and it felt in some way she was being disloyal or unfaithful to you. He said, she says you are someone who needs help and are not all bad. Judge Menery said Mr. Rich left woman B with facial fractures and potential nerve damage, sent her vile threatening messages and throwing paint over her was just shocking. He said, you plainly have a poor family background with a history of you yourself being the victim of abuse and violence with a lack of real support. It may well be has made you something of a person you are today, but your record of past offences of violence cannot be ignored. Judge Menory jailed him for three years and nine months and made an indefinite restraining order to protect woman B. So what are your thoughts about Damien Rich and how he struggles with substance abuse and mental health which leads to domestic abuse which he also witnessed as a child? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.